Welcome to another installment of the Devos. You know, it's actually been a while since I've done one of these, and I want to do something a little bit different. I want to take a look at one verse, and that is Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I want to take a look at this because it is so important to understand what verses mean. You know, you never want to take them out of context, but this is the day the Lord has made. So we want to praise him. I mean, every day that we wake up, I mean, think about creation as a whole. We get to wake up in this creation. Raining, windy, snowing, 113 degrees, sweating our butts off. But we get to wake up in it. This is the day the Lord has made. He has created us. We get to exist because of his love for us. So even sometimes when we don't feel blessed, when we feel like we're struggling, think of the love that it even has to do of being our father, of being his child. What an amazing blessing that is in and of itself. Every day, no matter how bad that day might seem, no matter how much we are not looking forward to going through that day, we need to remember to glorify him, to praise his name for even allowing us to see another day. I mean, we wake up in the morning having been disobedient to him the night before. But he still allows us to see another morning. He still allows us to be in his creation. And then he blesses us on top of it. Some blessings don't seem big. Some of them are quite small. So you live in a small home. So you're sick. So you've lost somebody close to you. But then you hear the laughter of a child. You get to eat a food you love. Each blessing, as small as it is sometimes, is in abundance. It's an absolute love. Don't let the little blessings pass you by. Don't let a cynicism of an adult or a teenager cause you to miss out on what it once was to feel the wonder of a child and to see each thing new. Be glad for the day you have. Be glad that each and every day is a new chance. A new chance to pick up where we may have failed and do something that glorifies his name and makes our father proud of us as we are proud of him. Thank you for joining me for another installment of the Devos. And I shall see you again next time.